Hey everybody, Joseph here. Just want to go ahead and preemptively apologize for this episode of the podcast because we lost the video files for this episode. So here on the YouTube version, you won't actually be able to see our glorious mugs like we rant about in the episode. But things will be back to normal in the next episode, so you'll actually get to gaze upon our glorious mugs in the next podcast. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll go ahead and get right into the show. They're just puffy. I have puffy nipples, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh, well, that's because you're cool. Oh, I, however, am poor. Also, The Shining is crap. I, I think it was really good. It's not good. Not today, Satan. Fact checker? Fact checker. Do we have Snopes on the line? I'm a, I'm a man dime. I'm a, I'm a man dime. Let me tell you something. This is going to be a nightmare to edit. So, so, scenery change. Scenery, scenery has is a smidgen different. It's a little different. It's just a wee bit. Just slightly. Just a bit. Yeah, just enough bit. to notice. To notice. And the fact that I thought it was kind of there's scenery. There is scenery, and that's a change. That is a change. In and of done, itself, we've done one podcast with video. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, welcome back to another episode. <laughs> Of the HPE show, I am your host Joseph Gallion, and with me, as always, is your boy it's, Chase Gallion. It's me. I'm here. I like how we don't have a wide shot. Also, for everybody listening on Spotify, iTunes, wherever the crap you listen to podcasts, hey, if you want to see a video version of this, I know the intro already said it, but you can find us on YouTube. Hello, yeah, how are you? It's on YouTube. You want to see our glorious mugs? You really want to see some real sexy boys? <laughs> <laughs> tons of it <clears throat> tons of it that was a bit it's a bit odd yeah so yeah we have our own apartment now we do do you want to give the lowdown the lowdown yeah that's you that's not me i mean that's um, a lot of you so uh our apartment it's three bedrooms two bathrooms uh two full bathrooms um we have a 1200 square foot uh technically condo i mm, guess you would call yeah, it probably um yeah, it's it's really nice. Love it. This room that we're filming in is the dining room, technically, but we're yeah. kind of using it as a whatever room. So, yeah. Music, podcasting, studio, Music, whatever. Music, podcasting, bumping, uh, bumping. Yeah, ignore the audio. Hopefully, Joe fixes a lot of the echo and post, which right. it'll definitely be cut down from what we're hearing now, but I don't know how great it's going to be. Yeah, we're working on it. Work we're, in we're, progress. We're, it's, Whip. A, it's, a, it's a thing. It's a thing. Whip. Whip. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Words. Hopefully. Now I don't want to talk. Well, I mean, you have you disrespected just, me. You're just proving me wrong. So yeah, speaking of the uh, the uh, apartment, so our address is 620, anyway. <laughs> 1632 Wallaby Way, Sydney. It's P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. That's what it is. That's what it was. Sorry, that's our that's address. What it, yeah, that's what it We're was. still learning. Don't worry about it. We're still learning. <laughs> All right. Um, questions because it's been a few months. I don't think yeah. we've, we've done, we did two or three podcasts since we finished Daniel and Maggie. Right. And I don't think we've really done anything in what, three months, maybe. Yeah. Pretty much since, you know, middle beginning yeah. of quarantine. Yeah. It, it, it was weird. I mean, like, I think it was around the time that I started for summer, uh, school yeah. there, the summer semester. And we were pl starting to plan out, like, moving here. I think we decided we were probably going to do it in April. At least that's whenever we, the plan started. Yeah. Now here we are in September. Yeah. Already living here for, what, three weeks? Yeah. Yeah, it's been about it's almost two been and a half, month, three dude. weeks. Yeah. It's crazy. Almost been a month. Already paid our dues. Paid our dues. Yeah. Is, that, is that what we've done? We have. Um, <sighs> paid a lot of dues. We're in debt to the IRA. Very much. Very much. Like, it's trouble at this yeah, point no they are we need to make threatening a lot of calls <laughs> please share the podcast if you're because a, we need to if make you're a money. lawyer don't share it just if keep you, it right here <laughs> you, you are who we need <laughs> so just stay right here if you want to sponsor the podcast yeah. please we need all the cash we can yeah uh freaking um i don't know Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch. Sponsor the show, please. You want to do some weird commercials? We, we got do you. some weird commercials. Yeah. We're strapped for cash. We're down to do we just are. about anything Film for money. student. Film actor. student. Actor. We got it. We're both starving. We're down. It's great. A crappy Sony camera. Oh, yeah. 
It's fine. Crappy Canon camera. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine is definitely bad, though. Well, I mean, as long as it's shooting 1080. It, it does I the think job. We're fine. We're, I think we're fine. Yeah, it, it shoots 480, right? That's what we're going That's for. That's about what it is. 480, I'm sorry? Huh? Huh? For, right. So speaking of Dr. Squatch, um, freaking, I started a subscription to yeah. Dr. Squatch. We're good at podcasting. Yeah. Dr. Squatch. And I got to say, I feel like an adult. Yeah, I finally feel like an adult because now I'm because you're doing... paying for overpriced products. All right, now I wouldn't say that. It's actually <laughs> kind of surprisingly cheap. How much? I'll be honest. You said it was what eighty bucks? Well, okay. The first time I got anything, it was like eighty bucks, which okay. came with I think I got a bar of soap, which was like pine, yeah. and the like the freaking words, um, uh -huh. shampoo and conditioner. Right. Got that. And then another one that was like the welcoming starter pack, whatever thing. Yeah. Which was like, it came with a, uh, a bar of like espresso coffee. It was, wasn't, oh no, cold brew coffee. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and that was the scent. Not yeah. The, the scent, actual use. No, the scent of the bar it's a was bar cold, cold brew cold coffee, brew. <laughs> but they also sent a bag of coffee and a, um, and a mug. Mm -hmm. which we have in our right. in our in our, in our, uh, in our cupboard yeah okay uh, so you're just saying that you had so much stuff that it got to be 80, 80. 80. Yeah, okay. yeah 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 so uh, like the subscription i just started is with like three bars of soap quarterly mm -hmm. um and then the shampoo and conditioner uh, which actually, I don't go through the shampoo and conditioner very fastly. Like, I'll be really honest. Oh, yeah. Look at us being an, an adult podcast. We're very responsible. Yeah. Talking ladies, about washing ladies. ourselves. Um, not not him though. He's he's taken. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm yeah. Okay. No, but hey. Hey. How you this doing? Guy. Hey. Hey. Yeah. You can tell I'm responsible by the way I'm drinking out of a Thor mug and have a Stark Industries hat on. Yeah. You know I'm, a, I'm yeah. very... And then good. has the words Born Born on his shirt. <laughs> born Born. Born Born. <laughs> the, way you... <laughs> um, the way you said uh, that, that's uh, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, do I need to explain or have I told you about this shirt? No, I just assumed it was some inside joke with a friend. No, uh, it's a it's from ODG Apparel, which is a really actually like good uh -huh. uh, Christian apparel website. Mm -hmm. um, it's not the ones that have the cringy like Jesus, but it's written in the in Jesus name font. I play. Oh my! Oh my gosh. So to speak called, on that, called to duty. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, we love it. Speaking of, um, when I first moved to Raleigh from my home, my first gift from my mother mm -hmm. was when I visited. She was like, "Hey, I got you a shirt." And it's like, oh, sweet. Like, I have, a, I have a new gifts. workout shirt. Gifts are great. That's sweet. Yeah. And then I get it. And she's mm -hmm. like, it's this, like, athletics company by a Christian group. Oh, you love to hear and it. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's really cool. That's Maybe it'll be something awesome. tasteful that's subtle. Tasteful. You love tasteful. And says something like Born Born on the it's front. Some, yeah, and yeah, then, you no, love a Born Born it's, shirt. Okay. Some pa some backstory here. Backstory I have, time. I have weird nipples. So if I, if I have... <laughs> And they're just puffy. I have puffy nipples, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> but if Goodness God, if I'm wearing like a certain type of shirt, dude. it shows them off a little too much, and I don't like that. So yeah. it's first off, it's one yeah, of those yeah. shirts with one that material. Yeah. It's like the dry fit mm -hmm. that's really thin, and I totally. can't do that. And then it's got um, in Jesus' name I play, just plastered <laughs> in font down the middle. Um, the only thing that would have made it worse is if it was like Comic Sans or something. And oh then, God, yeah. but it wasn't. It was just I think Times New Roman, Dude. you know, the classic. Oh, you know, Times um, New Roman. You love, you love yeah, to yeah, see yeah. It. yeah. I guess they called it King James back in the day. Just, King James. Um, but <laughs> so, why are you the way that you are? <laughs> I don't know. But um, and then it was just it had a big old basketball. Yeah, on the back, like Just right in basketball. between the shoulder blades. Oh my gosh! And dude. then like two, it had uh, movement lines going up the sides. Oh no! <laughs> it was so it bad. looks like Jim Lee comic art with just yeah. lines for no reason yeah. all over the place. It wasn't great. It was so bad, and I was like, "Yeah, thanks. This is great. I love it." And then I took it home, <laughs> thanks, and mom. I gave my sister the shirt she got for her, which was mm -hmm. exponentially better for some reason oh. by the same company. And then I was like. All right, never wearing this outside in public. You know she's probably gonna see this. Yeah, it's fine. I'm sorry, Aunt Marcy. It's fine. It'd be like the that shirt sometimes. was kind of bad. I well, okay. So back to the born 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 born. It's born, ODG born. apparel, and it's the name's born born born. 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 
<laughs> oh no. All right. Um, Quantum wow, of Born Born. No time to born born. Born and the born borns. Born born fall. Born nope, cats. doesn't work. <laughs> what? What? I was doing like Josie and the Pussycats, but like. But why? I thought we were doing James Bond born. titles. That's true. I don't know why I threw what that in there. What the heck was that? That was kind of off the wall. Octoborn born? Octoborn. Octoborn. <laughs> Octoborn. Um, so it's by ODG Apparel, which is a really cool Christian uh, apparel yeah. uh, company. Born and born. it's even born twice. Christian. Yeah. You know. Gotcha. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, I have another one. By okay. Them. See, now that you say that, that makes sense. Yeah. See, you, you you're tracking now. You're yeah. tracking. Um, freaking. What was I gonna say? Oh, I got another one by them. That uh-huh. is. Um, yep. Born three times. <laughs> <laughs> Triple born. <laughs> the born identity. There's the, born, the joke. There There's the go. joke. Yeah. There All we right. go. Um, no, it's. Uh, oh my it's, gosh, it's, that's born born. <laughs> 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 It's born, born. <laughs> it's like my favorite ones where it's Jason born. That's Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. I never, I've only, I think I've only seen half of the born identity and that's the only born films I've ever seen. Um, I don't, I don't know which one I've seen. I know I saw the one Did you where see the one with Jeremy Renner for one movie and then he's gone again. No. Oh, well, I don't think I did. I don't think a lot of people did. No, I think that's why you left. Um, that's why they got Matt Damon back the next movie. Yeah, I feel like the whole Born situation. I mean, it's just weird. I don't know. It's like the Born. I don't Born get it. Identity. They tried to make an American then born James Bond supremacy, and then Born Ultimate. Yeah, I know. Supremacy. It's a bit, mm, <laughs> <clears throat> born Ultimatum, the Born Legacy, and then I th- Jason Bourne. I think that's. that's I think Legacy is the one. I Legacy saw. is the one. That's the one with. That's the, oh, that's the is, one with Hawkeye. That is the Renner one? Yeah, it's oh. Jeremy Renner. Well, then maybe it was the one before that. I don't know. It was a, Ultimatum. It was like the last one. Yeah, it was an old the original one. trilogy or whatever. Um, it, the original trilogy. He said it like it's Star Wars. Yeah, you know what? I need to figure that out. Oh, you're going to find out which one you want? <laughs> well, okay, because we're doing a whole bitch, a big a big bunch of... Yeah. I said bitch? 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 Take that, bitch. I can't even spell. Spell? I can't even Golly. smell, man. Holy Okay. That's crazy. Speak is what I meant to right. say. Right. Okay. Yeah, cool. Um, no, uh freaking what was I gonna say? Because we're we're doing a bit of uh a bit of sidetracking back to the other shirt I have by ODG. Right. Yeah. Um the, it, I have a, it's a bear holding a pineapple and it says bear fruit. That's it's okay. pretty great. Yeah. It's pretty great. Yeah. All um right. I will there's there's only certain um so, yeah ultimatum you saw ultimatum yeah I think. so you literally saw the last one i think so. it's like watching in game without seeing everything it's nowhere near like that it's no, but anyway yeah. <laughs> it's like spy doesn't know who he is right got it okay cool okay good, cool we're back um no uh yeah no there's there's a few really good christian like apparel things like i know uh art of homage is really good mm-hmm. uh that's where i got my yahweh hat the gotcha. w-h-y-h wait Y H W H. I did it backwards. Cool. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to spell either. That's okay. Uh, it's yeah. good. It's fine. It's one in three. Dude, I they had a they had one that uh-huh. I really wanted. They had this like package that I really wanted, but I do not think I could pull it off. You package. could get a box. It was like a box full of like a fit kind of. Oh. Right. See, I don't. Okay, I don't like when people wear stuff that is supposed to go together. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, fair enough. Like, if someone gives you something, mm-hmm. well, first off, it's like, you didn't really think about that, and, like, you just bought it, and it was you like, all it. these three things go together. It's like wearing a tracksuit. Everyone's oh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah all right. <laughs> like, a track suit. Congratulations, you put on a tracksuit. Congratulations. <laughs> like, <laughs> congratulations, you can put on pants. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> Sweatpants at that. You know? Oh, dude. Uh, well, okay. The reason I was thinking okay. about it, yeah, yeah. it was the, it was like the Yahweh hat I have. Uh-huh. I mean, you could get, they have like three different collections. I think it's like Yahweh worship and, and a different one. All right. Uh, <laughs> Lucifer. Um, uh, <laughs> Judas. Judas. It's all black. Judas. No. Uh, Judas. Judas. Uh, no, it, but it was like, it was like a flat bill uh-huh. and the shirt and like socks. I was like, word, that looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. But the only thing that I don't think it, I could pull off, yeah. it was like all black, all right? 
and with like purple like black panther kind of colors right uh, okay yeah, yeah. yeah and it was like the vel like the, the felt kind of like oh okay i would have loved it because it looked yeah awesome it right. looked great okay but i don't think i could pull that off yeah i'll be honest like here's i don't think it, it would suit me yeah with that outfit mm -hmm. honestly i feel like there needs to be some kind of separation because if you have yahweh on your hat separation of church and state yeah and yeah. then yahweh <laughs> on your chest or across mm -hmm. like your entire you know shoulders or whatever i feel like there has to be some kind of separation so if they made like sweatpants yeah, or yeah, joggers yeah. or something where it was on the thigh or something like Ooh, that yeah, 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 that would be cool like a hat jogger socks mm -hmm. like i'd be okay with that but just having it like plastered where the where people usually look anyways mm -hmm. like on your hat on your shirt and then your socks it's mm -hmm. like or you could do like mix it up where it's like yahweh and then the worship one or something like that yeah i don't know it's an idea yeah Right. I just feel like there has to be a little bit more separation. Oh, yeah. Because then it starts to look like too much. Like you're wearing a fit. Like you're wearing the things that are meant to go with each other. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I like doing the... Uh, it makes it look like you're not trying, but yeah. you're yeah. still trying. I like how a lot of times here... Like here's a peek behind the scenes. This camera keeps cutting off Chase's... Uh, yeah. Okay. Five minutes. Every five? Five, five minutes? Isn't it supposed to be set to like 30? why that's a great question why that's yeah I don't why know. are you the way that you are i don't know i don't why know cameras. You, what, do, do you, but to be honest learn it you've had it for over a year yeah it's been a couple actually <laughs> it's, been a couple, it's been a couple of years um but until now i haven't really had an interest you in really, doing it so. well you haven't had a need for long term either, yeah because either. like what the other thing the only time we've used it for the channel was with that uh far from home movie trip that we did yeah where you were vlogging yours and I was doing mine <laughs> Yeah. You know, where I showed up late and the person got mad at me for filming in the theater, yeah. even though that's completely legal. They were freaking out, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Dude, dude. that was... Dude, like, it's the person with you. No, see, and they didn't go, even... No. They didn't ask. They didn't even ask me. They were just oh? like... They were legit just like, that guy over there is filming and I don't know what's going on. And I was like, are you seriously... It's, it's, I, I, okay, I'm they sorry. Were, I'm recording a movie theater. They were I acting. I wasn't in the theater. Yeah, like, you were I just wasn't filming recording inside the screen. The door. I was in the lobby. Yeah. And I was like, it was like a, I was zooming in on you like a stalker cam. And then you yeah. turned around and the person like in front of you was like looking over like, like, like freaking mad dogging me. And yeah. I was like, oh, we're doing this. Like, yeah. Okay, so it was cool. super. Great. I don't know. It was just, it felt. Don't you love Fayetteville? <laughs> yeah. Like it was so strange because they were just overreacting to the point. Well, when you would think something was wrong and it's like yeah he's not gonna what's he gonna do literally like camera shoot you camera shoot you yeah you know shoot uh, it is like called a cameron cannon so yeah so um look i almost called it a cameron <laughs> it's called a cameron it's called a james cameron <laughs> it's called a, a, Cam a kirk cameron oh my God. uh he's here to save christmas have you yeah. seen that but don't leave him behind because he oh, will don't freak out he will make three movies about it yeah um <laughs> have you ever read the books talk about salty no i haven't <laughs> um i read like the first one it's pretty good but then like uh for me as a kid my jam was uh the kids left behind mm -hmm. which is like about like kids and teenagers being yeah. left behind for the like seven years all right for those that are not christian or whatever so the idea is like whenever a revelation happens and all the Christians are yanked up out of out of here and everyone's left behind, there's supposed to be seven years of tribulation, and it's like following those seven years. The Kids Left Behind was an audio series we listened to. It, it, it was books, but we listened to the audio series. Bro, that was my jam when I was like eight. Oh, yeah. It was a, it was a time. Yeah, if Narnia. there's anybody listening that like has trouble remembering books, yeah, audiobook. Audiobook. It's Even honestly while so you much easier. Read, while you read the book, listen to an audiobook. I've oh, yeah. heard that's a that's a Ben Clack, yeah. our, our boy. Yeah. Uh, he helped on Daniel and Maggie, who was the focus puller, and he did a beautiful job because yeah. he's a beautiful man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, no, he said like he was trying to learn how to speed read. And one of the steps that they say to do is to listen to an audiobook mm -hmm. and read along with it. 
Right. So because he'd be like, you know, I, I'll try to read faster and I just won't retain anything and I'll have to go back and read it because I just wasn't even thinking. I was just like subconsciously letting my eyes go over words, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, shoot. Yeah. yeah. But I would literally, I think it was the Lemony Snicket series. Or oh, whatever. series of unfortunate events. Yeah. Like we had in school, we had an AR point system and each book was worth a certain amount of points and you had to take tests on them to get those points. Um, it AR stood for accelerated reading. I was really wondering. I was really wondering. Uh-huh. Accelerated reading. Really? Okay. So yeah. AR. All right. AR. Like how would? That was a class in your school. No, know. it was okay. So okay. As a homeschooled freak. Uh huh. I don't know how this works. So okay. So pretty much how it worked was each month or semester or nine weeks, however long, you yeah. had a certain amount of points that you had to get for that certain allotted amount of time. Okay. And if you read, uh, you know, books that were for kindergartners, you know, it might be half a point. Oh, yeah. If you read a book for, you know, for high schoolers like the Odyssey or something like that, it'd be, you know, 24 it's points. It's a good time. Um, Odyssey. Oh. So, yeah, it all, like, the more difficult the book, the more points you could get from it. Right. Um, which is why in sixth grade, I yeah. read the entire Twilight series and just oh boy banged out a lot of points. And I was how like, was, how did that yes. go? Yes. Um, I honestly ended up liking the books. All? Yeah, it was really strange for That's me. That's a twist and a half. Yeah. Like, I, and Night Shyamalan to the wrote point, this story. To the point where I went to, um, I can't remember which one it oh, was. There it again. But, yeah. I'm sorry. But. Be like that. Thanks, yeah. Sarah. Everybody. So Sierra, Chase's girlfriend, which you've already met if you've listened to the show before or listened to what she's been in the she was in the in game review and the Daredevil yeah commentary was that it yep she like cameoed in the Last Stand audio commentary we did but yeah she was also in the uh, Dark Phoenix oh yeah you came with us to watch that trash movie yeah I'm so sorry for you I know <laughs> I feel um, like no one. Yeah, it was yeah. real bad. It was but, real bad. Okay, so anyways, back yep. to the series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Cool, cool, so cool, 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 cool. What I, I had trouble reading as a kid, but I mm-hmm. liked certain books. Real quick, uh-huh. this is going to be a nightmare to edit. Holy yeah, crap. Yeah, it's going to be. <laughs> Go ahead. It's going to be. But anyways. It's going to so, be one of those. <laughs> one of those days. Um, so I really liked, you know, uh, eventually I got into reading, but early on, like I could not sit down and focus for that right. long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would just, I would get on my ripstick and ripstick in the house in a circle, like in a little allotted path. Uh-huh. And I would listen to the Lemony Snicket books on uh, audiobook. And Was it Tim Curry reading the books? Because... You know what? what yeah? It might have been. Tim Curry... Dude, okay, so that's how I read those books when I was a kid. We would, yeah. it would be like me and my sisters. Right. Uh, we would hang out and we would listen in to the literal tapes that we would get from like the Sparta library. Yeah. And it was literal cassette tapes because, you know, it was right. like early 2000s, so it was normal. Yeah. Um, I had a CD player. Oh, well, that's because it. you're cool. I, was a, I however, I am CD poor. Player. Boom. Uh, <laughs> Boom. Dude, um, but it was a lo- almost every single one of them was Tim Curry. Yeah. We would literally, if the library did not have the Tim Curry version, yeah, we would go to a different library that did oh. to get the Tim Curry version because it was great. Right. Because it was so Tim Curry. And he was yeah. like, now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Tim Curry's great. Freaking, you've seen Clue, right? Yes. Clue is one of my favorite movies. Yeah. And I know it's such a weird it's a weird pick for a favorite movie. Right. But like, I don't know. It's well, a great I mean, one. it's it's one of those classics that you don't really think about. Yeah, I guess it would be considered cult classic, I guess. I don't, I don't know how that ranking So works. like cult classic is like, it's not got a big following, but it's like amongst the people that know it, they freaking love it kind of a thing. Right. So I guess it would kind of be cult yeah. classic. It's I like, okay, Evil Dead. Yeah. Uh, not a super big... Uh, title really mm-hmm. i mean it's got but it's got a massive like they're not massive but it's got a really dedicated fan base right right yeah so that would be considered like probably a cult classic i'd, I'd say yeah i once got into an argument over facebook uh-huh. this week uh with some friends from school mm-hmm. i was more so just 
backing up Chris. Yeah. I started it. Don't get me wrong. I started it. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, one of our guys from from film said, one of the things I hate so much, mm -hmm. um, which is like, oh, this film's only a classic because it's old. Right. That is the dumbest thing yeah. I think you could say. Mm -hmm. uh, because how does it become a classic in the first place if it's just a classic because it's old? Mm -hmm. In that case, like, I don't know, the room's, what, 17 years old now? I guess it's a classic. Well, it technically it is. Yeah. What am I talking it about? Is oh, God, a no, it's a classic, classic. bad film. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I don't know, say... freaking um, Pluto Nash, then. All right. Eddie Murphy trash last really bad. It was really is is bad. But, but yeah, no, they were talking about Evil Dead. Yeah. They said it's uh only good because or like it's only remembered fondly because it's old. So I watched it with Chris for the first time like last year now probably. I think Blue. it was last summer. Yeah. Um and he was trying to show me a lot of like old horror films because mm -hmm. I'll be honest, like horror never really been my genre. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, I need to see it. Like, a, like we watched The Shining and Psycho and Evil Dead yeah. and Hereditary, I think are the four that we watched. We may have watched more, but Hereditary messed me up, mm -hmm. made me so uncomfortable. <laughs> mm. But I loved Psycho. Yeah. Psycho was great. Have you ever, you ever seen Psycho? No, but Dude. I know what happens. It's great. Well, see, I wasn't expecting to actually get like startled by it because it's like it's right. one of those it's like a slow burn thriller kind of a thing. Yeah. And there's just one bit where Norman Bates just like takes off out of a room and I was like, oh, okay. I, was yeah. just, oh, I feel okay. like <laughs> see, I would my whole thing behind horror because I'm not a horror person either. Mm -hmm. I just don't the whole like spooky. Well, no, just like getting scared to be scared. Little baby man, little baby. Yeah, little baby man. Essentially, <laughs> like I just don't understand the whole fathom of, you know, getting scared to be scared. Now, yeah. if it's a thriller, yeah, where it's like super tense, like yeah, like a Quiet Place is a thriller. It's not right. really a horror film. Really. Yeah, like it has a reason to be that way. Yeah, like yeah. all the you know, uh, like Annabelle, all that. Those are meant specifically to be. Yeah, I need to bump you yeah, up. Yeah, a yeah. little bit, yeah. yeah. But specifically just to make you poop your pants. Scaring to be scared. Well, like, yeah. I will say, like, a lot of the, um, a lot of modern horror films. I, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Where a lot of them just aren't, I don't know, in the same vein of, like, a, a psycho, you know? Um, I respect, and I enjoy... A, uh, was that your alarm going off? Mm -hmm. That was a timer. Yeah. Freaking sounded like the... It's the 27 minute timer. Man. 27 minute timer. Um, what was he saying? <laughs> I honestly oh, yeah. that lost for folks. For horror films, right? Yeah. What I would prefer is, is something like a Psycho or a Shining or something like that, which isn't necessarily like, hey, let me just startle you. Yeah. Have a whole bunch of jump scares. Also, let The me... Shining is crap. Yeah, I know you don't like it. Yeah. I loved it. It was really good. I, I think it was really good. It's not good. You wouldn't like Hereditary if you didn't like The Shining. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Because like, it's, it's not it... good. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh -huh. I prefer that style is what I'm getting yeah, at. Yeah, I, I don't know. Where it's, it's not necessarily like, let me just do a bunch of jump scares. Let me actually make you uncomfortable and have a scary atmosphere and stuff like that. Yeah, see, now one thing that I am... Or the reason I did not like The Shining is right. because it's. I felt like it was too long. I felt like That's fair. things could it's be cut movie. out that didn't need to be there, especially at the very beginning. Like especially and you're at just, the very end. Yeah, like you're just coming up and you're seeing all this stuff going on. Like that to me didn't make any sense for whatever reason. There's a lot but, of really even like weird stuff that happens with the uh, certain ghosts. Yeah. Like that I was like, okay. Right. But, but a lot of that was in the book. Yeah, and what makes me worried is that I'm afraid that I'm not going to like um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood because of that. Why do you say that? Because a lot of people have said that it's just Stuff Brad happens. Pitt driving in a car. Yeah. Well, like for long shots. See, and I don't know if you would like my favorite movie, which is The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Because right. it's so slow. Yeah. But it's a western, so it's supposed right. to be. Well, yeah, and I guess that's a part of the whole like modern horror 
horror. 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 Cora. Cora. Um, Legend of Cora. Legend That's of Cora. That's a horror. If I've J.K. Ever seen Simmons. It. Whiplash. J.K. Simmons. Miles Teller. Very ugly words. Fantastic Although, Four. Bringing it around. Bringing it all around. There we so go. Back to comics. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I think I want. I, I haven't seen Whiplash yet. Yeah. Whip, oh God. I need. I need to see it. It's so good, it. dude. Mostly, I think the main reason I want to see it is just because it's someone bullying Miles Teller for like two hours. Yeah, which, that's like, true. Someone could take him down. That's, <laughs> but I mean, also, it's just a. I it's mean, you already know the whole twist and everything, but it's just a good twist. Yeah, there's twists, twists and turns. I may not know all the. You twists may not, though. but it's like, there's just it's a good come up. All in I story. know is that he wants to be a good drummer. I want to be the therapist. Yeah, Dude, like, like no one ever. Wants. No, one. not Dude, even to catch them is my real test. Yeah, to train them is my cause. Yeah. That I am I doing it right? Got I never watched on, Pokemon on, on, growing yeah. up. Yeah, you know. I heard um <laughs> a friend of mine from film school was talking about the show mm-hmm. and he said I never got into it. I was like, okay, why? And he said it's walking the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just that's... Walking. Oh yeah. Which is pretty yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's basically just them traveling to each city. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yep, and yep, then they're like, yep. hey city and then they leave to go to the next one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do they ever go to Lavender Town the show? Because I remember, uh, like, Lavender yeah. Town being big spoopy hours. Maybe. That freaking song right. still, like, it bothers me. Just because, like, not playing Pokemon, mm-hmm. the only t- the only thing I knew of Lavender Town were, like, the, ooh, scary ghost stories mm-hmm. of it. So That's honestly, when you play the game... If my phone would shut the heck up... It would be such a letdown if you actually played yeah, the game. Yeah, because I know it's probably not actually that scary, you're... but the song unnerves me. I don't know what it is yeah. about it. Oh, yeah. There's, like... Okay. I know it's, like, it's a weird atmosphere. Like, there's a graveyard for Pokemon and stuff it... like that. Like, it's oh. weird. It's... <laughs> yeah. What? It's, like, okay, so... When you when you play the game, if I'm remembering this correctly, if not, comment. It's good interaction with yeah, us. Yeah, please and, do uh, that. Um, yeah. Email us. Tell us how stupid we are. Yeah, or comment it's because that important. puts us more up in the algorithm. Well, yeah, so that's yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, don't, don't email us. So comment. just comment bad comments, please. Um, please so, write a review. Yeah. On 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 the podcast, iTunes, Spotify, iTunes, that, that one. good stuff. I don't think you can review on on Spotify. Really? I think it's like a. I don't think it really has a rating system, which is weird yeah i guess i, don't I guess really they just let the streams speak for themselves but essentially when you play the game i don't know if i'm correct or not but I, that one last that last that last knuckle really uh-huh. hurt uh-huh back yeah. to what i was okay. saying okay so pretty much when you are playing the game you get into lavender town and it's a normal city yeah if, from really? what i remember like i think the colors might shift slightly but that is it like I'm that's upset. it, and then I'm you upset. have this tower that you can go into, and that has like clouds and graveyard stuff. But literally, if you don't want to, you one hundred percent have the option to just let this be a normal stuff. I'm playing the Lavender Town theme. I'm doing it. Okay. Because hey, I'm Nintendo, don't you love this? No, Nintendo, please don't, please. It's please, commentary. Please, please. We're commenting on the. We're, we're common. I don't think commenting we'll get on the theme. for this one. No. Well, especially if we keep it under 30 it seconds won't, it won't do it oh why is the first option lavender town theme backwards no stop it that i do not like watch your better. possession um yeah that's when you're in the tower yep. it's uncomfortable dude i, just, I don't wait wait, 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 wait. no this is a vibe all right, I hate myself. But yeah, essentially, that's <laughs> solely when you're in the tower. Want to hear it backwards? Sure. Yeah, that actually sounds kind oh of. Oh my god, that's the scariest looking Jigglypuff I've ever seen. What? It's just like a Jigglypuff with demon eyes. Yeah. Nope. 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 Turn that off. Turn that off right that's... now. Nope. 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 <laughs> Not today, Satan. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> just please, go. please drop a fat rhyme, please. Uh-huh. I need to hear some bars. <laughs> I'm gonna start pulling look. out like an epic rap battles of history. Say rap. Jigglypuff. <laughs> <laughs> First. <laughs> Are they still doing stuff? Uh, I think uh, the last time I checked, they, they are. They know. might be, but like. I don't know. It sucks to see like 
whenever stuff like that just isn't as just popular channels as it used die. to be. Well, it, it's because YouTube's changed like their yeah, well, yeah, their you can't just put out a video yeah. and have a lot of subscribers and that work. Yeah, no, it, it, a lot of it, it really rewards you for having um, longer form videos where if you're like at like an hour or something like that or t at least like 10 minutes long you well, get yeah. more uh, I mean, attention and they like actually push more the whole 10 minutes thing yeah that's that, that was like an ad thing yeah right? and now they've actually lowered that to eight hmm. fact checker fact checker do we have fact is checkers? it eight do minutes to get a mid-roll ad do we have snopes on the line is it with okay. YouTube, is it is it eight minutes to get a mid roll? <laughs> is it? Yes. Is, is, oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So it's cool. it's eight minutes. Now. Well, yeah, but I, I mean, like, you were rewarded for having longer form content because yeah. YouTube was like, okay, well, we need to, um, we need to compete with like your Netflix, your Amazon Prime, your Hulu, your yeah. Disney Plus kind of, where you want more people on your platform so that you get more ad revenue and everything like that from the actual people paying to place ads on YouTube. Yeah. So it made sense right. to reward that. But because of that change, a lot of creators like your big animation creators mm -hmm. or like ERB, which is incredibly talented, a lot of production and stuff like that goes into it. Yeah. But it's only like, what, maybe four or five minutes long? Uh, you know, yeah, it, most of the time it's about five minutes, and also uh, the last time they posted was about nine months ago. Nine months ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That sucks. Right. But they did, I nine will say... Nine months isn't too long, though. I mean, it know? looks like they're posting one, they were posting one every month for a while. Yeah, it, and may, then be, I think, it may be like this is the break between seasons, like they right. usually do season breaks or whatever. Yeah. So, okay, maybe they're still there. Yeah, maybe they're just... Because it's... I mean, they I did hate Thanos versus someone else. So it's oh. like they're still trying to be relevant. Fair enough. I will say Darth Vader versus Hitler is probably my favorite one. Yeah, no, those are... There's like three of them aren't there. Yeah. Okay, for those that don't and then, know, there's a series... There's the ERB, Epic Rap Battles of History guys, are, um, are a group of two dudes who make rap battles between two different characters like there was clint eastwood versus bruce lee barack obama versus mitt romney okay yeah they and then abraham lincoln abraham lincoln comes in and just kills did, it at the end yeah didn't That's abraham funny. lincoln also show like he had one that was uh, abraham lincoln versus like clint eastwood no no it was uh, uh, chuck, chuck norris. norris yeah 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 i got already said Aberdolf it. linkler <laughs> Aberdolf. I hate you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, they need like three different Adolf Hitler versus Darth Vader. Yeah, because then they froze. I wonder uh, if we're going to get flagged on YouTube for, for even saying, saying Hitler. the name. Yeah, because I they don't seem think to. So. I, I don't really care. That's a bit stupid. We're saying a, a historical figure's name. Right. right. We're not, not saying that. I love. No, because he's a bad man. He's a very bad man. <laughs> yeah, but that obviously, um, kind of goes without saying, I suppose. Well, apparently yeah. not. Not for some people. Yeah, I guess mm. not. Let's not. Let's not go there. That's <laughs> fine. Let's keep this light and breezy. Speaking of light and breezy, we're actually not going to keep it light uh, and breezy, are we? No. We're, all right, Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman passed Chadwick away from Boseman. colon cancer. Colon cancer. After a four-year battle. That's insane. Yeah. Well, uh, I respect the mess out of it for keeping it a family thing. Yeah, I, I learned here that. recently that Kevin Feige didn't even know. Really? Until a week before. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Right. Man, that sucks. Chadwick Boseman was a legend, dude. Yeah. He played a lot of icons, too. Right. And the only the sad part is I haven't even watched half of his stuff. Yeah, yeah I've literally no, watched Black Panther and then obviously both avengers yeah that he appears like in literally civil war. civil war and then both avengers like i just he played obviously black panther first black superhero or well first like big black well, superhero he, he from was Africa, the first yeah um which is was a milestone it's probably probably i'd say probably the most iconic black superhero well yeah i, I, I mean, mean he decides like what well just war machine or falcon i mean well historically he's had so much value yeah especially with the black now, panther movement if i'm not mistaken falcon was actually falcon was the first black superhero he I may might be been, wrong but, but i'm pretty I'm sure i'm not sure i'm pretty sure falcon was the first i know which black panther cool. shows up in um 
Fantastic Four Fantastic is where Four he first original. appeared. Yeah, and then, although the, the origin, the original origin of Falcon's a little, it's a little, a little it's very wasted. much in the '60s. Yeah. Um, in the main and I'm glad thing. they changed it because he's a very interesting and valuable character, and I'm glad they actually you know fixed his past. Mm -hmm. And Anthony Mackie kills it. I'm really looking forward to seeing him be Captain America. Yeah, in Falcon I mean, Winter Soldier. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're going to get their own show, so yeah. that'll be interesting. Which, uh, much deserved, because those actors are great. Yeah, you know? they are. Like, they they kill their parts. They just haven't had en enough to do, really, since, like... Well, yeah, since, they're both side since characters Winter Soldier, and really. the Captain America like Yeah, see. And, so. and by, when, when the time of Civil War came around, they, you know, had even less to do because... Yeah. Well, except for Bucky. Like, Winter Soldier obviously had a lot to do. And Falcon still did, too, but it was... Not yeah. as much of a role as they could have because then they pulled in like Tony and right. Black Panther and Spider Man, even and all these other characters into yeah. Civil War. It feels like an Avengers film just focused on Captain America. Right. Um, but anyway, back to Chadwick Poseman. So yeah, I played Black Panther. Yeah. Historic. Mm hmm. Played uh, Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson. Uh, which was what? Like, first really mainstream black uh, baseball player, really. Um, yeah. And then I would he, say played, so. he played Thurgood Marshall. Third if I'm not mistaken, it's the first black Supreme Court justice. Mm -hmm. Crazy cool. All right. Um, uh, Chuck Berry, right? Or No, it, was, uh, it wasn't Chuck Berry. It, goodness, why have you done this? Mr. Get on up. What the freaking, what, what is his name? Why can I not remember James Brown's name? There James it is. Brown. James there we Brown. Go. Did someone anyway. play Chuck Berry? Chuck Berry? I there is a movie with Chuck Berry. I don't know why I cannot remember it, and yeah. I don't know who played him. Right. I'm not going to guess. Yeah. Because you'll get yourself in trouble. Well, I wouldn't be able to I cannot even... Because I, I, I haven't seen the film. Right. It's not like... Uh, well, I have seen Get On Up. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. Mm -hmm. um, dude, Chadwick Boseman just throws himself into everything. Yeah. Because I've only seen parts of 42, but it's really good what I saw. Right. I don't know, man. I think it was seeing clips from 42 and seeing that trailer i really wanted to go see it but i was never able to and i just haven't yeah seen it now well the, what was that um what was that story about uh who directed black panther um uh oh the same guy who did fruitland uh creed yeah creed and, and fruitland station oh my gosh uh goodness gracious ryan coogler yeah thank you so ryan thank coogler you. He had a story that he posted after, um, or not even a story. I think it was. By a, the way, it's Fruitville Station, not Fruitland. My bad. Gotcha. It was um, a news article that was circulating after he passed because obviously when actors pass, stuff comes mm -hmm. up yeah, yeah, from yeah. the past. You know, just remembering remembering them. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ryan Coogler recounted in an interview um, of when they were filming Black Panther, or yeah, no, it was Civil War. Mm -hmm. Excuse okay. me. Okay. And or some, I'm. I think it was Civil War. Oh okay. yeah. He no. He probably he, would have already been. It was to... trying to see him. He was looking at some BTS. Oh. Of them oh, Civil filming War. Civil okay. War. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, and cool, 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 it was literally. Um, it was Chadwick and whoever played um, T'Challa's father. I can't remember oh, off the top. I don't of my know head. that actor's name. I don't know him either. I haven't seen him in anything. Oh, do you? To my knowledge. Okay. No, that's not important right now. I'll talk about okay. that later. But anyways, they were speaking in, um, a dialect and mm -hmm. yeah, Ryan was just like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like they, they learned, you know, just real quick and come to find out that was whoever played T'Challa's dad's native language yeah, from Africa. Yeah. And oh, Chadwick dude. learned that on the spot I don't wanna, before they filmed. I don't want to go for the name because it's one of those that like, kind of has like a, a clicking sound right at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not going to go for it at risk of offending people. Mm -hmm. um, but it's one, of, it's, it's one of the two most popular languages in Africa. Yeah. The first one, or the other one, being Afrikaans, mm -hmm. which is what um, some of my friends from South Africa speak. Mm -hmm. is is Afrikaans, which is i don't think i've ever told, told that story real quick okay so um in the years of 2014 and 15 i went to africa zambia to be specific yeah um and uh went on like a mission trip with uh like a missions group mm -hmm. and um it was 
Jeez, I don't know. If it was 2015, I think is the year that this happened. So I would have been 16 years old. Yeah. Um, and there was a group of these South Africans that mm -hmm. was with us. And they were speaking in Afrikaans. And, uh, and they were saying a word that kept coming up mm -hmm. that sounded like a, a, a naughty word in English. Uh -huh. Specifically, the F word. Ah, yeah. It, um, it, was, it sounded like, like the F word ERS. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> it was... Um, <laughs> Okay, so what happened was the, they kept saying and kept saying and kept saying it, mm -hmm. and this absolutely amazing woman that I went to church with at the time um, decided she needed to say something. Right. <laughs> Which like, I was very much ready to let it go because I just I knew it, it meant something right. in their word, yeah. like in, in their language. Yeah. Um. So it was like. It's fine. It's whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. It, it just sounds like that. It's like. I don't know. There's a lot of words like that that will just sound offensive in a different uh, tongue, you know? Yeah. Um, or just languages like German. Yeah. Which oh. is just aggressive. Yeah, you just, you feel like someone's angry at you anytime <laughs> yeah. someone speaks German. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but, what was I saying? Right. So she said something. She, she decided to talk to the guy, and she's like, Andre. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, okay, what's up? <laughs> uh, he didn't say that. He you know <laughs> yeah what's up um, what's yeah. up what you want it was good um <laughs> no so the <laughs> he <laughs> andre's a great guy but um she's like andre you keep saying this word <laughs> this word that means something really rude in english uh-huh she didn't say english she said american uh, <laughs> oh no she meant to say english but american comes out right i she I knew what she meant. She just, uh -huh. just American came out. I think what she meant to say was that it sound, it's a very rude word in America. Right. And she accidentally and, said American. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and she's like, it's just a word, a word that you keep saying. Oh, uh, a word that you at keep that saying. At that point, you can't like, be oh, too proud to right say right. it. You gotta yeah, like, you gotta, you gotta go for well, it. Well, she doesn't. Right. And, and so he, he's like, what are you, what are you talking about? Well, it's so, just having that process of trying to figure out yeah, what the word is. Yeah, you're having to relate it, like, what your native tongue is right. to your second language. Right. That you probably don't so swear it's much like, in. <laughs> I imagine he doesn't swear Just wide-eyed, like, like, uh... Like, okay, well, so he literally, he starts talking to the two other uh, people that he was talking to yeah. in Afrikaans. Right. And uh, <laughs> he, he thinks about it, he's like... Oh, you mean fuck? And it just yeah. like lets it loose, right? And and like all all the white church ladies in the bus go, yeah. oh, that's the one. And just and the me and me and Dad breath. were in the back just laughing so hard. Gosh, because it was so funny. Apparently, what it means is like apprentice. Oh, yeah, that's fun. And <laughs> and Miss Sandra was like, um. I would appreciate it if you would use a different word for it. And he's like, okay. <laughs> right. Ah, oh, man. It's I great. hate that, though. It's great. Like, I don't know. It's like, some, I know it's certain things make other people uncomfortable, which is right. fine, you know? Um, I've talked about it a little bit, like with uh, my now boss. Yeah. Um, just about this weird culture we have about about swearing in, in the church. Right. It's interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's probably a topic for a different time. Probably, yeah, yeah. because we're we're getting we're about time we're, to we're wrap it on up. So, there. you ready to do our classic segment? Our classic our segment classic that everyone segment. loves. Everyone loves skips it. to the end because Skip they love it so right much. Right to the end, and then they go back and listen to it again, so they can really get fully that building. process. That segment being take it or leave it. Yeah. Uh, to explain it for anyone who's like this, is your first episode, take it or leave it's a segment where we talk about something good. And we're taking something not so great, and we're just leaving. That's right. So, uh, yeah. Chase, do you have anything? Because I wasn't thinking about it. I swear we do this every time. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I honestly wasn't thinking honestly, about it. Honestly, okay, okay. I think okay. I'm ready. Um, yeah? So, recently, recently, yeah. uh, we did a play. I don't think I mentioned it on the podcast. I may have. Again, you did. I did? Yeah. Cause... Well, I know we mentioned it on one of the podcasts that we lost. Was the it one the that one... was just me and you in the sound lab at, at school? No, that oh. was um, oh. 
The one where it was uh, this, during quarantine, me, you, and one. Chris. Oh. Well, was, was it Cade? me, you, Cadence? I think it I think was me, you, Cade, and Chris, maybe. Oh, and then so Cade the cut out. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> and then, because <laughs> you guys talked about it then, at that yeah. point, I think early on. Mm-hmm. And then, um, I think Cade ended up cutting out, you cut out, and then me a and Chris lot. ended up talking back and forth to each other yeah, quite a bit. Show. Yeah, the CC. CC show. Yeah. Right. So I think you may have mentioned I, it. Okay. Well, I was in a, I was in a freaking play, a, a parody for play the first time. Yeah, it was Twelve a Angry Men. Yeah, which apparently you said was good. So I liked it. Yeah, I thought it was fun. It's something. It's something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. So I was in that that play, and it's really the first time I've really any, done anything like that. Like, it was weird. Yeah. <laughs> it was really weird. Um. Because, uh, I don't have that kind of experience and I also didn't have that kind of confidence, you know? Right. So I, I say all this to say, because I wasn't really comfortable on that stage, mm-hmm. it kind of really, not kind of, it did, uh, kind of helped me with self-confidence a right. lot. And I think especially just these last couple of weeks, yeah. I've really been kind of leaning into just having more confidence in myself. Yeah. Really. Which isn't, you know, I'll be honest, it's not something I'm really used to. Right. Because, I don't know, it's just not something I'm, I'm, I've done a lot. But, like, even, like, I don't know, it was, I've, I don't know if it was yesterday or day before. Mm-hmm. I think it was yesterday. You guys weren't here. Mm-hmm. I walked into the bathroom. I saw myself in the mirror, and I was like, dang, <laughs> I look good. <laughs> oh, like, crap. Okay. Like, Yeah. Right. I look good. Oh, yeah. I'm attractive. Shut up. I don't care. Right. I don't know. And it felt good because it's like I've never really looked at myself kind of like that, you mm-hmm. know? I'm freaking I'm a handsome man. So <laughs> I you know what? Shove it. I oh, don't yeah. care. Well, I feel like that's the attitude everybody should have mm-hmm. at, to a certain extent, you know? Yeah, it's not like I'm it's not, it's not like, like I'm trying to be vain or well, anything. Right. And it's, I'm just uh, it's to pretty have confidence. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that you're not, you know, being that way. Yeah. But there's some people that turn that dial up like oh, yeah. so hard and oh, you I know a few. Yeah, like you can tell that that person does have some problems mm-hmm. and that might mm-hmm. be why they're doing that. Yeah. But oh yeah, I I completely understand and support doing that cuz that's looking at myself and thinking I'm a smexy boy. Right. Like I mean, it's just it makes so much sense because, you know, especially if you are single and you don't have another mm-hmm. person to let you know that or especially in our situation. Which I definitely do not. Well, I'm just saying like in our <laughs> situation where there's not someone there to tell you like, "Hey, you looking good." Like that's hey. Sierra, is Chase looking good? Always. Um Gross. Thank you. But, it's true. Though. I can't even lie. It's true. I, but like, yeah. So it's always nice to, even if it's just yourself doing that, just telling yourself like, mm-hmm. hey, I'm a, I'm a man dime. There oh, we go. I'm a man oh, dime. Let me tell you something. Oh, I thank yeah. you. Thank you. In a plutonic way. <laughs> the, the born born shirt the born born dude it really born, it born? really brings out born born it really brings bang, out bang. the unfinished yeah. facial hair it's you know it's a vibe <laughs> it's a vibe it's not connecting but yet. right yet yeah oh yeah yet. i'm still in that realm right now yeah it's about it's about like it's, yeah. it's about that time right so so that is you my, are you are taking I'm leaving or you're leaving i'm less leaving confidence i am leaving <laughs> self-hate there we go. Okay. That is about how I put it. Because, yeah, yeah, no, I'll be honest. I did not like me. Right. And I'm learning to like me. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, what am I taking? What I'll are you taking? You what, I'll tell you what I'm taking. Let me tell you. Let me tell, tell me. you what I'm taking. I would love to know. I am going to. Get to the point. I am taking feeling appreciated. Oh, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm being real, like... I'm being wholesome today. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to even that out. You're, yeah. You're just going to be like, oh, I took a nice dump a minute ago. I took ago. a great poop. I was such a nice poopy. Yeah. Um, feel much better. <laughs> um, what was I saying? No. Uh, appreciate. I, I feel appreciated, dude. Yeah. Like even, um, I don't know, whether it be at church or at school mm-hmm. or even here. Yeah. I feel appreciated, bro. Like, there we go. you know, in ways that I'm not completely used to. Right. Uh, in ways that I've, I've wanted to feel. Yeah. Appreciate it. Well, there we go. Which now sounds really depressing when I say it like that. Uh, I was never loved. <laughs> yeah. um, Gosh. No, like, I mean, at church, like, um, 
I'm trying not to be super specific about it. Right. You know? Yeah. 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 Um, a, a dude who was on staff at one of our campuses mm -hmm. was letting me know. He's like, "Yeah, I'm probably going to pull you over to this campus soon, just because right. we work together a lot." Yeah. And and he just has faith in me, which is nice. Right. You know? And at school, like uh, Duke, who's the head of the the film lab, mm -hmm. he is. Like he's got a lot of faith in me. Yeah. Which is a story for another time. Right. There's a lot of vindication and happiness that I feel now. Uh -huh. I feel justified. Right. Let me tell you. Okay. That is a story for next episode. Gotcha. I think. I think okay. Hopefully. But yeah, mm -hmm. no, I'm just, I'm feeling love, bro. Right. I'm feeling all the love. Yeah. So uh, what are you, what are you, what are you vibing with this week? Um, we're doing leaving first, right? Leave it. Well, yeah. it doesn't really matter. Okay. That. Oh my gosh! No, I forgot the the claps and snaps. Oh, oh darn. darn. It's, it's okay. Fine. Chris we'll can yours. yell at us later. It's Anthony, but okay. Okay. And yeah. Dylan. Right. 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 Okay, so Do you es think? essentially what I'm what I'll leave is mm -hmm. um just a lot of I guess insecurity would be the word for it because mm. okay. I've had a couple instances this week that weren't so great for my self-esteem. Oh, word. So, um yeah, I guess just kind of leaving that um, not really trying to let it, you know, weigh down on me or anything yeah, I feel like that. that. Yeah. Cause if you do that, you know, then it haunts you forever. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. It's best to just, you know, keep moving oh, past yeah. it and not oh, let it see. But yeah. anyways, um, taking, let's what are see. You taking? What are you taking? I would like to take, um, well, I guess now's a good time to mention it if I'm ever going to actually do it. So, oh. um, yeah, I have started or am going to start because there's nothing there yet. A a new channel. Yeah, um, here we go. Dedicated to just X life fitness <laughs> and laxatives, <laughs> and so basically, I, I'm starting a fitness channel because mm -hmm. I I want myself to be obligated to be fit and healthy you want that kind of accountability yeah like yeah. if i'm having to post if and you're do stuff a bunch for of people it, watching too yeah. yeah like it'll keep you accountable for sure oh yeah and i want to do that and make myself um just better f physically like mm -hmm. I, I want myself to be healthy because yeah. i'm yeah. not at the place where i want to be at all yeah, yeah I, feel and that. I feel like quarantine <laughs> was a part of that. that right but essentially i want to show everyone like all the fitness youtubers that you see that are big anyways, they, they've already done it. Yeah. You know, like they've already, so you kind of want to, yeah. Like I want to show, show them the whole journey. Yeah. I want to show them what works, what doesn't work for me. And oh, then, yeah. you know, so that way they can have a better time, probably just picking and choosing what to use and what not oh, to yeah. use. But that, yeah. So the reason we said laxatives, yeah. Do you want to so, spoil that? Tease? Um, a bit of a teaser. Well, Here we are. I, yeah. You guys can get a little exclusive. So for, for, <laughs> a row power, it's yeah. That's right. Hello, exclusive. So for for an exclusive, I want to do a uh, a challenge where I I don't change my diet. I eat exactly what I eat now. You love to see it. Um, and I exercise a lot. A lot. I go through my regular routine. It'll be mm -hmm. on a weekend where I'm off, so that way we can kind of manage it. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to eat a ton of laxatives <laughs> and kind of see where that takes me. I'm going to really enjoy documenting this. And the problem is, and I'm going to have Joseph follow me and film, oh, yeah. but the problem great. is, is that I already have a pretty volatile stomach colon oh, situation. It's a good time. So adding a laxative to that, even one dose, let alone like 12, like that's going to be Oh yeah. kind of ridiculous. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it because I think it'll draw a lot of eyes. And oh, I, it will a lot of draw viewers, a lot of eyes. It'll hopefully. draw some ears from our neighbors. Yeah, so That's I'm going, sure. I'm definitely going to post a few videos that are pretty normal and see if I can get any traction and then oh, yeah. post that yeah. video and keep it in the back pocket. I'm just know? saying we should film that like right now because I, I just, I want right to now. see you, you just explode. Right. Oh yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. Probably going to happen. It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Good but Lord. that's that's what I'm taking, I guess, oh, yeah. starting my new channel. You're taking a whole big bunch of poop. Yeah. A whole big bunch Into of poop. the toilet. Into the poof. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Oh, I'm looking forward no. to it. I'm willing to sacrifice my anus for you guys. Lives? Guys, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>
if you if you enjoy the show, follow us. Give us a follow. Do give it. us a, a like, a rate, or whatever the crap you do. That's right. Guys, for, for like Power Entertainment, I'm Joseph Galleon. And I'm a ficus. We really like ficuses here. Yeah, we do. Asshole. We really like ficuses. Ficus, ficus, ficus. Ficuses are cool. Ficus. It died. Ficus. Yeah. All right, guys. Have fun. Bye. Enjoy. <laughs>